Welcome back to Chokitibu Media. Let us talk about what is going on in Nigeria now regarding the victory given to the local authorities in the nation. We can see the headlines in all newspapers screaming at everybody, telling us that the Kaba governor or the emperor governor weren't doing good. They were the one taking care of the local governments ever since, talking about the administration, the election, the finances, which actually debar the progress of the local authority in the land. However, there was a landmark judgment yesterday at the Supreme Court. The judgment withdrew the control of local government in Nigeria away from the governors. I say welcome back again to Chokitibo Media. It's a new day, a new time for 774 local governments in Nigeria in the 36th state of the nation. It is not right of the FG to be sending local government allocation to the state's governors and afterwards distributing this to the LG men, the local government men, the way they deem fit. It's not right. The highest court in the land said what it is lawful is that the FG, the federal government, should pay this allocation directly into the, the local government uh, pause so that it will be useful for them as well. It is also unlawful from what has become a culture and tradition for the governors to be appointing caretaker administration over the local government. It is against the law of the land and it is totally unacceptable. The court further ruled and explained that what is known to the law is that the people should be the one to elect leaders of the local government and not caretaker committee being appointed by the governors all over the 36th state of the nation. This was made clear in a suit filed by the federal government on Thursday, 11th July, by the Attorney General and the Minister of Justice, Latif Fagbini, S.A.N. In this case, it was declared that the governor should not be the go-between between the federal government or negotiator between the local, local government and the federal government or their people. Local government should have its autonomy on their finances, on how they spend their money and shouldn't be dictated to by anyone. In reaction to this, the governors disagree with the judgment in their own defense, coming from the state commissioners of justice and the attorney generals as well. They appeal to the court to throw away the case filed by the FG in the protection of the local government. What they were trying to refer to is the lockjam in the constitution that really permitted the governors to put the allocation together with the state allocation. So I wonder why the law is like that or what, why the law was made like that. The power wasn't separated, so the governor has the right to put those money together before, now, before distributing or disbursing it down to the local authorities. I think these are just what uh, the point the national legislators will have to look into if actually you want this new law to work for the LGs. Because majority of the people in the country, or almost everybody, said this judgment was what they really expected so that the local authority will be developed by the money of the local authority and wouldn't be dictated to by anybody. The leading judge in this case, Emmanuel Agim, leading justices of six, and said, governors have no case at all. They are only full of favority. He also said, every demand from the case filed by the federal government were authentic. This made them to win the case. And this made them to win the case. He further explained the workings of the three types of government in the democracy, talking about the federal government, the state government, and the local government. So it remains to be seen if this is going to work, because the governors are not really taking it lie low. They don't want this law to work. And I hope things are going to change, because if you go to all these local authorities, 
all the responsibility that they're supposed to take off are not being taken up. Even the, the state government that claimed that they want to take it up, they didn't do nothing. People are not feeling that there's government at the top tier of government. Drainages, primary care centers, this primary school, secondary school in the area, fire services, the barrier grants, the businesses in the area that are supposed to generate income for the local government has been taken up. The parks, garages have been taken up by this responsibility has been taken up by the by the state government. And the habit of putting whoever they want in in for eight years, you will see some governors not even organizing an election to put the right people in power. They put their own. And we are saying the country is not moving forward. Yet we keep blaming the center. What happened to the second tier of, 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 of government? How well have they performed? For me, this is a land, landmark judgment. And I, I, I quite agree with the Supreme Court on this matter. So let there be freedom. Let there be independence at the local authority. Thank you for listening. This is Chucky Table Media. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like it and share it to some other people. This is the only way you can use to help me out. See you next time. Cheers.